chapter 1, verse 14. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we saw His glory, glory as the only begotten Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified about Him and cried out, saying, This was He of whom I said, He who comes after me has a higher rank than I, for He existed before me. For of His fullness we have all received, and grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth were realized through Jesus Christ. Now one has seen God at any time, the only begotten God, who is in the bosom of the Father. He has explained Him. And that was St. John talking about the Word became flesh at the Annunciation, the Incarnation. Right behind me is the Church of the Nativity, and this is where Jesus Christ, the Word who became flesh, was born. Right behind me you can see the door as people bow down to get into a very small doorway. Similar to our posture as we approach the place where Jesus was born, we bow down and adore Him just like the shepherds. So in Luke chapter 2, verse 17, we can read, When they had seen this, they made known the statement which had been told them about this child. And all who heard it wondered at the things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. The shepherds went back glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as had been told them. And we pray on this day that we can treasure this experience, we can transmit it to you, and we can go back and praise God for all that we have heard and seen today. God bless.